Welcome back to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference, empowering the good. And now we're diving into the world of science with the Adventure Science Center. We're joined by their Vice President of Marketing and Communications, Susanna Best. How are you doing? I'm great. It is a good, beautiful Wednesday here in Nashville. So um, everything's going good so far. We're closed on Wednesdays, so it's a little bit quieter than usual. But if we were open, you would hear the sound of stampeding children having the best day of their life outside my office. So it actually works out well that we're doing this on a Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's dive in because we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to talk about. When you look at the exhibits and everything you're doing, absolutely amazing. But uh, give us a little bit of history because this is a milestone, 75 years. So give us a little bit of history. Yeah, so what a weird year to celebrate such an important milestone for Adventure Science Center, but we have been in Nashville for 75 years. Um, Our 75th birthday was officially last October on the 31st, so we didn't really get to celebrate the way that we wanted to, given the pandemic that we're in and things going on. So we've really been celebrating it in every way that we can throughout the year by telling stories of partnerships we have with Metro Nashville Public Schools, with the park system, um, with Dr. Jahangir, who is our former board director and someone who has been so involved with the COVID-19 task force, of course. So we are really excited to keep celebrating that. We have so many people who love us here in Nashville. So it's been a great opportunity to share a little bit more about who we are. We know that Nashville is in a hyper growth moment and has been for the last several years. So there's a lot of folks that haven't been here for more than two, three years who have started families who may not have heard of us before. So one of the ways that we're really excited to celebrate this really important milestone for Adventure Science Center. Um, And you're kind of getting an exclusive scoop on this. Um, We are reducing our field trip admission for all Tennessee students to be 75 cents per student. So we're super excited about that. Um, Obviously, children from those kind of ages like three to 14 um, love this place. And it's a place that really brings science to life. And that out of the classroom learning experience has such a profound effect on the career aspirations of children and and the STEM and STEAM path they may take in their career and education. So lowering that barrier really gets a lot of students from other areas of Tennessee into our door so that we can give them the same experiences that local MNPS students get all of the time for free. So we're really, really excited to announce that. Um, That does extend, of course, to teachers who are coming in association with those field group field trips as well. So that's something we're announcing like legitimately today. (laughs) So um, we're really excited to roll that out um, for the spring semester. And we're hopeful that we'll be able to continue that beyond just the spring as well. Yeah, I love that. It's you heard it first here. So that's awesome. (laughs) Great. Um, Everyone loves an exclusive. Exactly. Talk (laughs) about the mission, because as you mentioned, the buzzwords, STEM, STEAM, innovation, technology, all those are really important. But when you look at giving youth an, a hands-on experience to be able to comprehend what it means, but to really get the wheels turning and, and to fall in love with it, that leads to great things for the future. And so talk about really what the mission is at the core of what you're doing. Yeah, sure. So our mission is to open every mind to the wonders of science and innovation that fosters a better understanding of themselves and the world around you. So again, a lot of people think about the obvious aspects of science. You think chemistry or biology, or you have a flashback to that horrible dissection you might've had to do. But in reality, science is under the surface of everything we do. Um, You know, right now we've got a Corvette exhibit in the building in partnership with the National Corvette Museum And some people have asked us, like, what does that have to do with science? And at the end of the day, everything to do with science, right? You've got engineering, you've got mechanics, all of those things are based in scientific fields, even data analytics and things like that. So one of the things that we really love is not only creating experiences in education that you don't really get to have in the classroom, but also introducing people to different fields within STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEAM with the added A for arts, which is very dear to my heart, um, and allow them to see different careers that they may not have even thought about. They didn't know those things existed, 
or they didn't know that they had the opportunity to have a seat at that table. And it is so important for the progression of science, especially in a world where, you know, access, equity, inclusion, diversity is absolutely critical and such a core of our mission to make sure that people coming into our building understand and are exposed to their ability to be a part of the scientific world, the technology world. We're living in a, a, an incredible growth period in Nashville, like I mentioned, where we've got a ton of really cool tech companies coming to town. Uh, and we want to make sure that people who are visiting us understand that those office buildings they see in the skyline, they could work there one day, they could be the leaders of those organizations, and they could be the people who continue to make sure that we have a, a better and brighter future ahead of us. For those who haven't been yet, and especially for those who are out of the market, who get to come in as a tourist and, and visitor with you know their family, Tease us a little bit, kind of walk us through some of your favorite exhibits, because you do, you have a lot. I mean, I'm thinking like space exploration and the planetarium, and as you mentioned, um, the cars and the automobiles, and then you have max flight, and so it's the the flying like simulators. You, you got a lot of stuff going on, so tease yeah. us a little bit. Oh, man, where do I start? Um, I think one of the things that I love talking about the most is Soundbox. That is our newest exhibition space here that's a permanent exhibit. It's full of a lot of really cool interactive elements that really help you experience what sound is. We're in Music City, so we of course have to tip our hat to music in some way. And again, we like to focus on everything from the aspect of science. So you can do things like make a melody based on your unique fingerprint. And when I tell people that, they're like, what does that even mean? And I'm like, I know, that's the point, it's so cool. Um, so sound boxes are a really fun experience. Right as you walk into our doors, if you head to the left, that's where our sound box experience is. Right behind those doors, we have our high-tech maker space. So it's a little lesser known to some folks in Nashville because a lot of times kids run into the building, they see the adventure tower, which is in the middle of our building and they kind of like spend the whole day there. So I always like to make people aware that we have this high-tech makerspace. We've got a 3D printer. We've got a state-of-the-art laser cutter. And Xavier, who runs that space, couldn't be cooler. He's the best guy to spend the day with, working through crafts and learning different engineering technologies and things that you can do with your hands to, again, have a more direct experience with crafting and science and different elements like robot technology. So that's a super cool space. It's right behind Soundbox. Man, beyond that, you mentioned Max Flight. We actually just got a brand new Max Flight full motion simulator. So we're really excited about that. That has always been a fan favorite for visitors here at Adventure Science Center. We initially had about 20 different experiences you could pick from. We have 200 now. So we're gonna be slowly rolling those out over the next couple months. Right now, I think we've got about 12 on the menu that you can select from, but it's a totally immersive experience. If you're a wild roller coaster risk taker lover, it's the ride for you. You can flip, go backwards. You can take a cosmic roller coaster through the galaxy, all kinds of experiences and certainly not something you can get anywhere else in town. Give us one more of your favorites. And I'm even thinking, you know, when you look at like, the natural side, the nature mm -hmm. side, you've got a lot going on there too. Yeah, for sure. So in honor of our 75th anniversary, we work to be classified as an arboretum. So that means that we have 30 trees that are native to Tennessee throughout our property. And a lot of that was, you know, and I will say it's one of those pandemic learning moments in a lot of ways where suddenly our space came became you know contained to four walls and we realized there's really got to be a way for people to experience the science center outside of our building and that is where the idea of the arboretum really was born we wanted to make sure that there were experiences that families could come to without having to come inside and learn about science learn about nature um, obviously too when you're in a city that is growing as quickly as nashville is the preservation of wildlife and trees and green spaces is so critical because it is so important to the overall mental wellness of people who are local to Nashville, um, for those of us who work here and want to go get some fresh air in the middle of a hard work day. 
And what's really nice about that is with all of the different trees, we're putting tree tags with unique, with unique QR codes. So you scan that QR code, you'll learn about that species of tree, what its original genus is, why we chose that tree, and a story of why trees are important. There's also a partnership with the Nature Conservancy. Um, they had a project called uh, which really is just highlighting a bunch of artists who wrote songs about trees and all of the trees that we have that are in that kind of book or catalog, you can also access those songs as well. So a lot of really cool things, again, tying back to music in, in a really unique way. The other piece of that that we're really, really excited about is we're a part of the Fort Negley area, right? So we are on in the adjacency of St. Cloud Hill. There is a community that used to be here called the Bass Street community. That was actually Nashville's first free black community. And it has been really interesting to learn just how little a lot of people in Nashville know about that. And it's a really fascinating area with, you know, sad stories, hopeful stories, but overall stories that need to be told and we know that we're not necessarily the right people to tell that story in its entirety so we've been working with different people in the community to tell the story of the Bass Street community and we'll be putting up an interpretive sign on that area so people walking by can go learn more about the community understand the history of this site and really get a better understanding of what came before us so that we have a better future ahead of us. Carry that forward into, you mentioned obviously a lot of changes during the pandemic and being able to get outside the four walls. You're open right now. So talk about just kind of navigating through the pandemic and where you are right now in this moment. Yeah. So I think the other thing that was really, really interesting throughout the pandemic for us, we closed in March of 2020 uh, and weren't able to reopen until about mid-June of that year. So that was a heavy hit for us. You know, we are a nonprofit that is entirely dependent on admissions and donors and, you know, the dollars that come in from people coming and having a great experience or what help us keep our lights on and continue to make us an organization that can offer free access to Metro Nashville Public Schools. Um, we have a curiosity membership, for instance, which is for low income families who may not have access to museums like the Science Center as easily as some other families might, right? So that was a hard hit for us. And there were definitely moments where we were like, wow, I don't know what we're gonna look like when we get out of this. Um, I have to say a thank you to the national community because we were really carried through this in a, in a way that is just so inspiring and has been so incredible. Um, and a lot of the work that we did during that time, because we can't stop moving, right? You know, if you think of a shark, sharks can't stop moving, you gotta keep moving. So through that process, we developed a couple of content series that really could, again, make sure that our education and the work that we do was still getting in front of people. We moved our homeschool program to a virtual, you know, so many companies were talking about moving virtual. It is especially interesting when you're not a company who has been a co like used to doing things virtually. And we quickly pivoted and were able to continue that homeschool program and create a sense of normalcy for children in a situation where everything had been totally upended in this very strange way. So we moved those classes virtually. We also, again, started some content series, one being Science Under the Surface, where we talked to people local in the community about their jobs. We talked to Manuel Delgado, for instance, of Delgado Guitars, about all of the mathematics that go into just tuning a normal guitar. So things that you would never really think about normally, right? And that was a really fun experience for us. Again, trying to take a tough situation and make the most of it. And because of that, we definitely added a bunch of new programs that we're really proud of and we don't we don't intend to get rid of anytime soon. Yeah, there's, there's always silver linings, thankfully. Um, Absolutely. Or a glowing about, pyramid in our case. <laughs> yeah, hey, well, yeah. <laughs> right. Talk about how we can help because as you mentioned, funding is critical and you have different ways to be able to support your efforts. So how can the community help? Yeah, so a lot of different ways. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people don't realize that we're a nonprofit, and we are. We're, we're a 501c3. So, again, admission to the Science Center, just coming out and having a great day at the Science Center is an awesome way to support us. Gift cards, gift memberships, 
Giving Tuesday is on the horizon with Thanksgiving coming up. So that's another great way to donate either weekly or monthly. Um, a lot of the great programs we have are sponsored by local companies. So if you are a professional in the community and one of our initiatives aligns with the mission or the values of your company, we are always open to sponsor opportunities, donor opportunities, um, and really there's just a lot of different op options for when you just come into the building, ask questions, get to know what we're doing here, and there's always room for gifts to be given in ways that are more meaningful than we can ever express. Wrap up with contact information, so your website, where do we go to learn more and to uh, make sure that we're in the loop on all the exciting upcoming events? Yeah, totally. AdventureSci.org is our website. So that's AdventureSci.org. The other place that it's huge for us to keep up to date is on social, especially Instagram. So that's at AdventureSci. Um, I encourage people to sign up for our newsletter. That's where you're going to get early access to events like Waylate Playdate and other things like that. So that's a great place if you want to be the people who are in the know before everyone else, sign up for our email newsletter. And we are excited to have an adventure with anyone who comes through our doors. Absolutely. Well, Susanna, thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having us.